in Austin history in terms of the number of 100 degree days, but this record is only going to stand for one day. We're going to break it again tomorrow and probably many days beyond tomorrow. And as you know, we've been talking about this for quite some time. It took 86 years for this record to fall, which begs the question, what in the world was going on during that year back in 1925? Jim Swift has some answers for us. When the sun bore down on Austin, Texas in the 1920s, people did the same thing they do today. They headed for water. That was especially true during the summer of 1925. 1925 was a year in which Texas experienced an exceptional drought like the one we've experienced in the last 11 months. Meteorologist George Bomar wrote the book on Texas weather, literally. His copy of the now out-of-print publication sat on his office windowsill so long the Texas sun actually damaged the front cover title in the same way it damaged the land and its people back in 25. The drought actually began in 1924 in the summer. There were no fall rains. Winter was dry as usual, and then the following spring was essentially rainless. And that's exactly the sequence that's played out in the last 12 months here in Texas. But, but does anybody know why? I don't have access to ENSO data, that's the El Nino Southern Oscillation data, to know if there was a La Nina going on at that time. We didn't have buoys in the Pacific as we do today. But very likely we were under the influence of a La Nina which is an abnormal cooling of the water in the equatorial Pacific Ocean. So, 1925 was a special year, just not as special as this year. But, according to Bomar, all this specialness will not last. Some summers are unusually hot. Some summers, like 2007, the summer when we had about a half dozen days in the 90s, no 100 degree days. So when you throw Are, are we going to see a summer like that again? We will. We will. You can promise us It that. might even be next summer. But that will be then. This is now where we live. Stuck right smack dab in the middle of the hottest summer of our lives. Jim Swift, KXAN News.